There is a popular movement growing in the United States toward a healthier life, a life that combines a holistic and nutritional approach with traditional medical practices. This combination of the mainstream with proven alternatives is being called integrative medicine. For more than three decades, veterinarians Bob and Marty Goldstein have researched, developed, and been leaders in applying this form of medicine to animals. Using blood as an indicator of deficiencies in a pet's diet, they have developed nutritional plans and supplements prescriptive to a pet's individual needs. Bob Goldstein. I became a traditional veterinarian, and I practiced for 12 years as a traditional veterinarian. And then I, I would say, it wasn't a boredom, but I, I was saying something like, you know, is that all there is? You know, I, I was, you know, animals would come in sick, and I would medicate them, and they would get better. And then three months later, they'd be back in for the same thing. You know, my wife Susan was working in alternative cancer therapies for, uh, for people and was coming back with things that I never learned about treatment, uh, you know, uh, you know for, especially for cancer in people. And I was getting that input. My brother Marty was also, you know, opening up to other possible types of modalities of treatment. Losing my own health, I just started to apply what I was reading to, to my own health processes, my own degenerative processes, and lo and behold, it was working. As we, we observed it working in our own health, the, the, the common sense, you know, one plus one equals two, what about the animals? You know, we found one, you know, some references on metabolic analysis, metabolic supplementation in the human field. It made more sense in the veterinary field because most of the metabolic supplements were gland, glandulars, like liver glandulars and thyroid glandulars. My interest became in how to figure out how to prevent an animal from getting sick and keeping them well instead of how to become an expert on treating diseases. So what we went through was a, is a trial and error period where we actually proved that the nutritional therapies that we were doing for the benefit of that animal also showed up in the blood. So, we, so the blood work and the specific supplements based on the blood is what metabolically tunes up the organs. It supports them, takes care of autoimmune complexes. It helps them on a cellular level so that the body can then utilize the hopefully good food that you put in. So the use of the nutrients based upon what the blood tells us gives the body the fuel it needs to achieve homeostasis and when you have homeostasis you will generate healing. Veterinarian Dan Kirby has a thriving practice in San Antonio and for several years has integrated nutritional blood testing into his own practice. I had an older dog who started to decline a little bit and she was at 12 I felt like she was still too young to decline. I felt like we needed to do more and actually was um, looking through the literature, looking everywhere to see if there was anything out there that tested dog's blood to look for a way to see if there was anything missing. You know, there's lead toxicity tests, there's tests for arsenic in hair, and there's all kinds of tests. Well, I found a little clip out of that, I think, years ago that talked about bionutritional testing. And that's when I called Dr. Goldstein and asked him and talked to him more and then became interested because before that time I was just putting things together from a holistic food store or something like that. And it, though it was good, it wasn't it wasn't easy for my clients. I remember, remember going, uh, thinking that the blood work looked normal initially, but after you do a nutritional analysis, it's different. And that's always, and it was very, it's uh, kind of an enlightening thing for veterinarians to notice the difference between the two. Veterinarian Richard Palmquist of Sentinella Animal Hospital has also integrated nutritional therapy into his practice in Los Angeles there are no non-toxic drugs so every drug we give is a toxin so we really need to know with quite a lot of precision, a precision in conventional medicine when we're administering a drug that the patient really needs it right to just give somebody a, a non steroidal anti-inflammatory because we feel like that might be helpful for them when they risk getting um, permeability changes in their intestine difficulty with their kidney or their liver would be considered bad behavior. It would be considered to be unethical and bad medicine. With nutritional care, on the other hand, we don't kill somebody with that. So if we're seeing a little liver thing and we want to try and do something to help the liver, well, that's an okay thing. And what's great is conventional medicine is learning now that these things that alternative medicine has done, and what I like to call integrative medicine, because we're all one medicine. It's just a matter of what we learn. 
We almost always use the jugular vein because it's much bigger, there's less pain. It's much more of a blood supply. In order to do this and to do it properly and with our relationship with Antec Labs, we had to put the program in a computerized form. Antec doesn't analyze the blood metabolically. Antec analyzes the blood medically. And then we apply our analysis system to read more specifically the results of the Antec blood. You, you know, you have your blood work and then you have your nutritional exam blood work and you get both of those and then you have a report that comes with it obviously that helps you to understand the values and what, which ones are off and, and part of that can be given to the client. Actually part of that is a copy for the client. What you want to give them is the answer and then a plan. Not just I'm seeing your dog and see you later. This is what's going on, this is how we'll fix it, but then this is what I expect to see for the next seven to ten years. The problem that veterinarians have, they have the request of this nutritional therapy from their clients, they just are so burdened or overburdened with, with having to treat animals that require therapy. They just do not have the time. So we're basically training on a case-by-case -case basis. Part of the, the whole ant movement is you know, it's not just to analyze an animal and get it better, but as a, an educational vehicle to get the truth out. It's not really a controversial thing. No one can say that nutrition is not important. You can be a veterinarian or a doctor and see the patient, give them their pills, maybe look at them for five seconds, or you can see that pet, do a good exam, focus on what they're gonna need, and try to do a, a better job. It's about good medicine.